we've talked a lot about how should entrepreneurs think about interacting with, approaching, and structuring their company for a venture capitalist investment. But if I can, in one nutshell analogy, if I can give you a way to think about structuring everything, it would be as follows. Suppose I were to tell you that you have been picked to play chess against Kasparov, one of the great chess players of all time. You have to go play chess against Kasparov, right? So that's very intimidating, it's hard to do, and it seems like it's gonna be an incredible challenge. I doubt in that situation if I said, oh, by the way, I have a lot of help I wanna bring you, computers and you know, cloud computing and chess experts, I doubt you're gonna to say to me, nah, I got it, I'll be fine. I don't need any help, but thanks for asking. And what I think you're gonna say is, bring them all in. I want everyone in the world around me in advice. I want all the advice I get, the help I can get. I am absolutely intimidated to ready to go after this. I wanna share my success with everyone because that's the only possible way I have a chance of becoming successful. Using that analogy for venture capital works because when you're gonna go out and start a company, the wrong way to do it is to say, well, I need to do everything. I need to keep control. I'm gonna make all of my mistakes myself the first time. I'm gonna learn on my own dime. I'm all gonna stub my toe and make mistakes lots of other people have made, and I hope I figure it out and get better over time. You only get so many shots when you raise capital to get your product to market. And the way I really would encourage all the entrepreneurs to think about it, again, is if this is tough, it's chess with Kasparov, surround yourself with the best market insight, the people who've made the mistakes before and can get you to be wise before you normally would become wise on your own making mistakes. And building a company is about making good decisions at each step of the way. And there's 10 steps every day. And how do you even recognize them and make the right decisions? That's an analogy that I think it certainly works for us here at Clearstone.